Free Tang Gang, what's poppin', man? This your boy Tay, back at y'all again with another video, man. Peace, love, and abundance to everybody watching right now. Before we start the video, man, make sure you guys tap that like button for me. Also, follow me on all my socials. That way you don't miss out on extra content, man, you feel me? I want y'all to listen close to the message today, all right? Um, I don't know who needs to hear this, and I feel like I was called to say this today, right? So make sure y'all stick around for the whole video, all right? You know, what you're doing with your life right now, it's gonna work out for you, okay? I want you to hear that from my mouth. It's gonna work out for you. What you gotta do for yourself is you can't give up. You cannot give up. All right. Things aren't always work out your way. Sometimes we got to go through a period of transition. That means you got to go through a moment where it's rough. Anytime I see the number 444, that lets me know that my success is around the corner. But also what it tells me is you're going to hit some bumps along the way. Things might get a little shaky, a little rough for a moment, but don't let that discourage you. Okay, you gotta keep going. You have to believe in yourself at all times. Sometimes we get into our head. You know, you get into your head and you start doubting yourself. You start doubting your potential. You start doubting your, your gifts, your skills, all right? And you can't do that. See, that's when we start to defeat ourselves. That's when we start to lose. It's always in our head, man. We, we, we start to talk down on ourselves. Nah, whatever you're going through, whatever situation you're going through in your life, you always got to big yourself up. Say positive things about yourself. If you got to, get you a journal. Right, this is what I do. I get a journal and I write down affirmations for myself. You have to program your subconscious to be what you want. All right, that's where it starts. But if you stop believing in yourself, you're never gonna get to your destination. Sometimes we can be our own worst enemy. We get in our own way. All right, so you gotta be mindful of that. Everything that's meant for you you already achieved it, right? It's already achieved. You just got to find that timeline. You got to jump on that timeline to experience it. But also, I want you to understand that whatever goal you have in mind, you got to go through the ups and downs. Because what comes with that goal, you got to take the bad too, right? How to prepare yourself to reach your goals is you have to sit down and visualize what would it feel like to achieve my goal? All right. If you want to be a content creator, you have to sit down and visualize what would it feel like to be a content creator. But you also got to visualize the ups and downs. What would it be like on a slow month? What would it be like if I'm not getting the results that I want? How does that feel to me? Right. When I ran track, you know, every day wasn't a good day. I didn't always feel like running track. Some days were harder than others, and I felt like quitting. And that's the type of aspect that you have to visualize of the days where you feel like you want to quit. Those are the days that you got to visualize as well. And this is how you attract what you want. But you got to go through that fire. OK, anything that's worth having in life is going to take it's going to take some difficulty, man. I'm just going to keep it simple. You have to redefine yourself to reach that level this is why we go through hard times if you go to the gym you got to break down muscle you got to sweat you got to go through some pain to build yourself up and redefine into the aesthetics that you want to see you don't go to the weight room and everything is easy and it feels good no you're gonna feel some pain 
but it's trying to test your mic. How strong are you mentally? Do you stop in the middle of your set? Do you stop in the middle of your workout and leave because it's too hard? Or do you persist through the pain? Do you big yourself up during your workouts? I know when, when I feel like quitting, I got to talk to myself. I got to say, hey, man, this is lightweight. You got this. You've done this before. This is nothing. That's how you got to talk to yourself. Right? Sometimes you got to cuss yourself out. I've done that too. Sometimes you got to tell yourself, man, stop being soft. Get the work done. Do what you got to do. Handle your business. This journey, this life is all about gaining self-awareness. Learning yourself. That's it, man. That's what we're here to do. And along the way, you might help some other folks. You might get into some other things. But for the most part, this life is about you. You're the main character. What are you going to do with this life? What are you going to learn? Are you going to grow? Are you going to stay stagnant? How are you going to handle this? I want you guys to understand that everything that you need is already in your reach. Okay? See, what the enemy does is the enemy tries to put doubt and fear into your mind, into your spirit, to make you believe that you don't have the power, you don't have the resources, and that you need him. You need the enemy to survive, and you don't. You come from a higher power. You come from source. Everything that you need is already within you, but you got to pull that out. Okay? So be mindful of your thoughts. Be mindful of your words, how you speak to yourself, because that will come into fruition. You will manifest that. Everything in life is about attraction. You are what you attract. You are an electromagnetic being, right? So electro, if you look at electromagnetics, it's all about attracting things. You pull things to you. If you look at atoms, how they have, you know, the, the electrons around the outer shell and then you got the nucleus and you don't see atoms running around here chasing after electrons. No, the electrons are attracted to the atoms. You get what I'm saying? Same thing with us. We attract who we are. So the more attractive you become as far as grooming yourself to what you want to be then you're going to attract those electrons to you. You're going to attract that charge, that energy towards you. But you got to believe in yourself. I go through it too, guys. There's some days where I feel like quitting. There's some days where I don't have the energy to do this. But I know it's my calling. And I know who I am. I don't quit on myself. Throughout my whole life, I've never gave up. Everything that I've started, I've always finished. And you got to have that mindset that whatever I start, I'm going to finish. I'm going to see this thing through. I'm not going to give up till I get the results that I want. That's how you got to talk to yourself. That's how you got to see yourself. If you got to sit down for five to ten minutes and visualize and, and do some breath work and get your mind right, do that. But don't go throughout your day thinking negative about yourself, thinking low about yourself. Okay, we don't want to attract that. We're going into a high vibrational year. And it's all about your energy. It's all about your spirit, your heart. What is your heart saying? If you're talking down on yourself, you're going to attract that reality. All right, so I want you guys to hear it from my mouth, man. Get your energy right. Get yourselves right. Okay? You don't have anything to worry about. It's all in our head, man. See, this, this reality is what we make it. This is why there's so many distractions out here trying to control our energy, trying to control our emotions. Everywhere you go, when you walk outside, it's always something trying to distract you. You got to influence yourself. If nobody else does it, you got to do it for yourself. You got to care about yourself so much that you don't allow outside influence and distractions change how you feel about yourself. Everybody might not support you on your dreams. Who cares? I stopped caring a long time ago. People going to call you weird. People going to look down on you. They're going to laugh at you. So what? 
When you stop worrying about people and, and how they feel about you, this is when you're going to live your best life. When you stop talking down to yourself and you start believing in yourself and going after what you want, no matter how hard it gets, this is when you're going to start living your best life. All right? But you got to groom yourself now. Start today. Do it now. Don't wait. Don't procrastinate. Get your mind right. I want to see everybody win. This is why I do these videos, man. You know, I want to see everybody be successful. I want to see you guys wake up your full potential. Since I started my channel, this has been my goal. I just, I just wanted a platform where I could speak my mind and help people and give my testimony. That's why I started my channel. And I haven't stopped that. I've had the same consistent message my whole career since I've had this channel. And I'm not going to stop. Right? Because it's bigger than me. It's a bigger picture to this, right? This is energy that I'm putting out into the universe. Not only for myself, but for everybody else. For like-minded souls who, who need guidance. Right? So this is my foundation. And I stick to that. You got to find your foundation. You got to find your why. Whatever goal you have written down for yourself, you got to figure out why do you go after this? Because through them hard times... If you're just doing it and you don't have no reason for it, oh, you're going to quit. You're going to fail. You're going to stop doing it. This is what a lot of people get into. They don't have no real reason why they're doing it. So when times get hard, this is going to test your spirit, right? It's going to test how bad you want it. When I ran track and practice got hard and it was days where I had lactic acid build up and I, I just felt like, man, I can't do this no more. That why? Why do I do this? It was stronger than the feeling. It was stronger than the temporary feeling that I had. I want to be a champion. I want to be the best. I want to push myself past my limits. That was my foundation. I'm not going to give up. And that always kept me going. And I carry that energy from the track into whatever I do. All right? So you got to carry yourself like a boss. You're not going to let hard times lower your confidence. So, this is my message for you guys, man. You have blessings coming your way. But you got to know that for yourself. Sometimes we can't see past the forest. But on the other side of that forest, it's paradise. You see what I'm saying? Trust yourself. And also, pay attention to the synchronicities that you get. You're seeing angel numbers. You're getting messages, light codes. From all, all types of things, right? All types of outlets. Pay attention to that because that's a message for you. It's trying to give you guidance and encouragement. All right? So I appreciate you guys for tapping in for this whole video, man. If you guys need help, I do one-on-one -on -one consultations where I give guidance. I give advice. Or if you just want to chop it up, right? I'll leave my link in my description and my pinned comments. That being said, y'all have a beautiful day and I'm out. Peace.